What everybody means you wanna get your money, get up, get up, get up. Ah, and y'all know I'm back with it. Hey, so it's no secret, right? Kanye did a rally, presidency, um, down in Charleston, South Carolina. He talked about different a lot of different topics. But you know, and I was I wasn't gonna speak about it, but you know, y'all know how I do. But I'll make a long story short, I just took some quick notes on the things that Kanye brought up that people chose to overlook or their emotions just, you know, crippled them to be able to, um, you know, set their eyes on what's really important. So Kanye brought up about, you know, um, DuPont and Rockefeller. If you don't know those companies are, please go. As a matter of fact, there was a movie released on DuPont about the company and how they distributed chemical water to across the whole city, across the whole state, because the farmers didn't want to give it their land so DuPont could take over. Do your research on that. Rockefeller, do your research on that. Um, Kanye bought up by social media getting us excited. He's not lying about that. You know what I'm saying? He's not lying about saying that we look at social media and get excited and miss everything that's important on what's going on. You know, um, Kanye talked about children being raised by a village. All that stuff is scriptural. You know, he talked about the election not being about freedom. No president can set you free. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? Freedom comes from, you know, you, you choosing to, you choosing to take care of your kids. You choosing to be there for your family. You choosing to do what's right by yourself, do what's right by God, first off. That's freedom. Like freedom, man, don't come from Trump. It don't come from Obama. It don't come from Dwight D. Eisenhower, Abraham Lincoln, none of them. It comes, it comes, free, we already got, we got freedom in God anyway. You know what I'm saying? And let, I'm, I'm going to speak on the Harriet Tubman thing real quick. And I'm going to try to, I'm going to interpret what Kanye meant to say. So out of all what Kanye said yesterday, all people got out of it was him talking about Harriet Tubman and saying she didn't free slaves. She just made us go work for white people. He's not lying about that. I think he should have worded it differently. I think he should have maybe, you know, said like that we, we, we're still seeking and fighting for more, you know, because truth be told, black people still weren't accepted. Black people still had, black people still had to seek protection from white people that they were working for from other white people around the North. Like don't think because, don't think because a certain part of some things were all peachy that that's how it was across everywhere. That's not how it was. You know what I'm saying? So he wasn't lying about that, you know? Even when we get down to when Kanye talked about the bricks and he was like, um, I ain't talking about the um, rise. I'm talking about the bricks in the 80s. Where did the bricks come from in the 80s? Black people didn't have planes in the 80s to go get that stuff. Where did the bricks come from? So he, when, when he said about, you know, social media got us running brainless and we like, oh, I'm gonna pick up this brick. I'm gonna do something with it. Where the bricks come from? Ain't nobody even said nothing about that. Like, you know what I'm saying? But like everybody wanna harp on what he said about Harriet Tubman, he didn't lie. You know, we, we still weren't free, y'all. Like, we still ain't today. That's something I said about the whole Juneteenth thing. We still ain't free to this day. Like, ain't ain't nothing really changed. Like, you can't even you can't even celebrate your blackness in your in your job without them calling you ghetto. But a white dude can go on the news and dance the rap music and it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, he talked about the car. He he made he, he said if I told you I'm gonna give you a Mercedes Benz, you'll run to it. But society show you now that the car's on the other side behind the building. Once you go over there and get it, you're going to get hit. Basically, what he's saying is that, like, social media and the society puts things out there. And you're like, oh, yeah, let me go get it. But you don't, you so focused on what's, you so focused on Mercedes Benz, you so focused on that Tesla, that Hellcat, that, that, that million dollar house. You're not even seeing what's in your path that's about to devour you. You, you never going to see that. You know what I'm saying? And people spend their whole life chasing it. You, you never going to see it. Man, he dropped some nuggets in that video. You know what I'm saying? Especially talking about, you know, he was in $53 million in debt. You know what I'm saying? He And he called on Jesus' name. Like, that's what we're supposed to do as believers. Like, and I know, I I, I know that the people who, you know, because I, I, heard, I heard mental illness about Kanye. And it's true, he do. But I, I feel like this. If you can take the time to interpret a, um, a Medea movie, I mean, surely you can hear what Kanye got to say. You know what I'm saying? That's just me personally. I'm just, I'm just saying like, but and to the black community, like when I hear things like, cause this is how I interpret what y'all saying. Like basically what y'all saying is just like, Kanye, just shut up and make music. We don't want to hear about your politics, about God. Just shut up and make music. To me, that translates to when Laura Ingram told LeBron, Hey LeBron, just shut up and dribble. You know, we don't want to hear about your antics. Just Donald Trump won get over it. It's, it's the same thing. We're doing the same thing now people that Laura Ingram did to LeBron. It's the same thing regardless. Hope you're having a blessed day. Yo.